Jaya, we are talking about conscious uncoupling and the topic for this video is what happens when you publicly shame your partner. Something that happens very often when you are transitioning and um, you are out there, you know, in social networks, on Facebook, is um, go vocal and express your anger towards uh, your ex. And you are going to do that in a way where, which is going to point out at how bad that person is. This is called public shaming. It's a character attack on a higher level, character assassination. Um, there is a, a whole lot of things to understand about that. The first thing is that it's a real attack. It's like taking bombs or taking stones and throwing them at somebody and using the leverage of your social network for, to increase the power of that attack. So in the best case scenario, your partner will be, or your ex will be equipped to receive that without retaliating. In the worst case scenario, they are going to retaliate and fight back. And in the process of fighting back, you engage into a battle, everybody's entering into this, uh, you know, psychodrama online. And, um, you know, it's an ongoing conflict that can last for a long time. And um, what, is, what is going to happen in the process is that you involve other people woundings. So instead of being a conflict or instead of being an anger or a tension that is happening between just you and your ex, then suddenly you have fields of energy that are being projected. The moment you publicly shame somebody, you know, and, you know, this becomes a discussion, it becomes a public shaming campaign. And what happens also is that it's really an energetic, energetic or psychic attack on somebody. You know, the way it's going to feel on, on the, that, that person's energy is that that person is going to feel toxicity in their field. They are going to be uh, watched or shamed or judged. You know, it might um, jeopardize their career. You know, it might uh, challenge their relationship with their, you know, family or friends. It might exclude them out of uh, social networks. So it's potentially something that is pretty explosive, pretty, pretty aggressive, and can have a massive impact in that person's life. And uh, if it's, you know, if you do it and you feel like it's justified and you are content with destroying somebody else's life, somebody that you loved and somebody with who you shared lots of history, then, you know, it's up to you. What I want you to know is that this can have a massive impact and in the case of retaliation in the case of that person not staying just passive but being like okay you want to expose me or you want to attack me here i'm going to fight back and fight back in a way that is going to hurt your core because i've got information about you that uh, might you know really um hurt your reputation and your your credibility as a friend, as a, as a potential lover in the eyes of another potential partner for the future. And so the moment you start doing that, what you're doing is like you are living in prints of negative energy and toxicity in, in each other's fields. And so I want you to understand that when you go that way, um, it's an escalation and it's an escalation that can really hurt both parties. And so if, you know, if you are the target of an attack, of a public shaming attack, um, you have different strategies that you can adopt. And one of them is just to take it in and not reply, not respond, not fight back, not engage into the battle. This is like somebody coming out of a pub in the evening and wanting to have a fight with you. And they punch you once and you just go like, you know what, you walk away. And you walk away. And in this walking away, maybe something is going to solve itself. It's possible that the retaliation keeps coming, you know, that there is the, the, the escalation doesn't stop and that this triggers a chain reaction of things and you can wait maybe for the storm to pass or you can go like, okay, let's go to battle. You know, let's go into this fight that is going to involve whole communities, whole circles of friends, and then we engage into this fight that is going to be public and uh, fully blasted online and maybe some people are going to engage be watching what's going on or some people are going to disengage and be like you know i'm not really interested in witnessing uh ex-lovers or ex-couples bashing each other online so the reason why i'm exposing this is simply so that you understand the dynamics it's very simple i'm not telling you to do it or not to do it i'm telling you that if you do it there might be consequences that might be really, really challenging to navigate and uh, might be really hurtful for you, for your partner, for what is left of your couple or relationship on the long term. Okay? I hope that makes sense.